So we're here at Spoken Hostel in Mitchell, Oregon, and Pat, you're going to give us a tour, right? I am. It's a quick tour because it's a small building. Let's check awesome. it out. Let's go. A guest right here. How's your ride going? It's going well. we got about nine days left. So did you stay here last night? I did. Yeah, how was it? It was excellent. Great hosts, great people, <laughs> Good no time. complaints. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. <laughs> Uh, these beds were handmade by a group of cowboys over at Powell Butte. It's all local wood, it's all rough sawn locally. Got these little lights. You've got high, low, medium, and a mosquito light. Got a USB charger in it, a uh, charging station on the side here. So when you stop in at Spoken, we try to make sure if you've reserved a bed that we have a name on your bed. Doesn't that feel like home? Each... I love that, that everybody just pulled their bikes right inside. <laughs> we I can, can do bring that. my bike in, right? <laughs> yeah, you bring your bike in. No, seriously. <laughs> No, really, bring it in. But the real heart of what we're doing is bringing economy into the small town of Mitchell because we know that bicyclists are typically pretty generous. Probably you're going to eat at a restaurant. June is when we officially opened and figure we've hosted probably about 180 guests since uh, June. It's great because we have guests that come in and they're they're really helpful. We want to know how can we help out. The generosity kind of extends beyond money. Already just in two months, we're hearing, you know, we heard about you in Kansas. When riders come in, we know that they're that, you know, you're tired. So every night at sunset, we take our guests, we load them up in cars, we go out in pain and rolls, we come back and we have ice cream. I mean, you know what it's like. You're riding along, you see that road, and you're like, oh, I really want to see that, but I don't want to spend three hours of my life spirit if it's not really cool. That's actually exactly what we did when we rode through here five years ago. We passed the turn off and we went, ah, that would be so cool to see, but I'm not going to ride out yep. there and back because I know there's not camping at the end. We want people to experience like this local flavor. Part of this is that we are a church. And we don't evangelize bicyclists. We're, that's not what we're about. We're here for the community. And so sometimes the community is just kind of wandering through. We get to meet people. And, and as a bicyclist, you get an understanding of what the local flavor is like. It's this two-way thing where the bicyclists contribute to the local community and the local economy. The locals can provide a little bit of insight, of history, and want to know what's rural America like. And this is it. Well, we're really excited to finally get out here and check it out. There's some great stuff happening in Mitchell here, so if you're traveling through on the Trans Am or just want to come out and explore uh, this incredible part of Oregon, definitely come to Mitchell, stay at Spoken Hostel, go drink some beer at Tiger Town. Great place. Thanks for coming.